Hey, what's up? Welcome to TSP TV. In um, this little episode for you, yet another screen uh, recording presentation. What we're going to have a little look at is some of the product placement that has been involved during this pandemic and things that you may or may not have seen on local news, um, on social media feeds or articles or pictures or photographs that have been spread around um, social media. And um, we we'll just can see here we have a Facebook post that was shared to the Thrift Fam Clubhouse uh, just the other day um, that was allegedly from a Walmart in Louisiana. And what they're saying here, look, they've pre-made essential item carts for the elderly pass this along love heart um now since this pandemic started in in the very very early um days of this pandemic and indeed the the, the days in uh, possibly week leading into the announcement of the global pandemic people suddenly started panic buying all of a sudden people become preppers overnight and went out and started bulk buying large amounts of groceries and in particular Ha, um, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and soap. Toilet paper becoming a luxury commodity and rocking horse shit rare. You couldn't find it for love and money on many, many of the shelves. And uh, during those early days of the pandemic, I pointed out in some of the live feeds that we had been doing that there were uh, an amount of product placements and subliminal um, advertising going on in some of these social media posts that are going around. So let's just switch across. And there's an actual. Um, the picture itself removed from the post you can get a bit of a closer up and what i'm going to point out to you here is what i mean about the product placement now if you can kind of see here they've got these shopping carts um we moved a little too far there lined up and you can see each and every one has water kirkland brand water i believe um and it also has toilet paper and kitchen towels in each and every cart now um this is what i guess walmart are considering uh, essential items for the elderly this is all they need is a, is a case of water um in a couple of cartons of toilet paper and kitchen towels there's no food items in there no bread no eggs no cheese no milk nothing like this none of the sort of essentials that people would kind of need to survive you can't eat toilet paper although you do need water um you can eat toilet paper so again this is another little example of possibly getting us used to socialist style bread lines and lining up at our grocery stores and being given carts and baskets of food we have absolutely no selection on they're going to deem what is um important now walmart uh are on the government's um payroll they do uh collect certain subsidies tax breaks and um, deals with the government in one particular deal they have is to employ veterans um, of military service uh, so they are in on the payroll and the reason I also point them out is many people have heard about the FEMA camp Walmart uh, you know the Walmart FEMA camp theories and the fact you know martial law you can change Walmart to make Mart law um, and their founder uh, what was his name Sam Holdham um, he also had CIA, FBI type secret agency connections during World War II, where he oversaw the internment camps in the United States for Japanese people. Um, a little bit like the concentration camps in Europe, but in North America, where they uh, captured all the Japanese um, citizens and uh, sent them off to camps. But back to the Walmart and the product placement. As you can see, there's the blue water here and there's the toilet paper and the kitchen rolls all lined up. And Walmart, as I said, they were up with... Um, President Trump, Trump, second day, it was a day after they announced it was a global pandemic and the CEO of Walmart um, and I believe the CEO of Target both joined um, Donald Trump in a presidential address to the nation or and even the world and said that they would make their um, stores available for testing sites. Um, and uh, now, of course, we do have FEMA in charge in the United States. The you know, president did um, hand over a management and uh, the overrunning of the country to the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Are we about to see these Walmart type um, camps coming in? But this is what they deem is essential. And as you can see, it's toilet paper and water. So these are some random pictures that I've collected of um, off social media, off the Internet of pandemic panic buying and here you can see almost immediately we have the blue toilet paper kirkland brand 
in a shopping cart piled up to the masses um, and if you also see here the person in front also has piles and piles and piles of Kirkland brand toilet paper in their um, shopping cart and also in the if you come and look in the distance there more piled up toilet paper you can also see in the background the bottles of water and we can see here again more toilet paper so let's just come on to another one first thing you see a guy with toilet paper and Kir um, Kirkland baby wipes conveniently um, placed so you can see the Kirkland you can also see is Apple iPhone here product placement people anybody and you can also see a little bit of social engineering going on with all the people lining up in the um, the grocery store here with empty shopping carts but this guy's got his two packs of uh, toilet paper and he's got his Kirkland brand um, baby wipes and his iPhone from Apple he's good to go he's gonna see it. He's, he's much more prepared for the uh, you know with these things than the empty folks waiting in line and it's kind of showing you know they're waiting and he's leaving this guy you know there's a lot they say a picture says a thousand words and um this is what this picture is trying to symbolize that this guy is good to go he's got everything he needs and these people have absolutely shit and they want you to be like this guy with his iphone and his toilet paper and kirkland baby wipes again here we go first picture we see bathroom and now huggies are getting in a little bit on the product placement here um and we've got some guy, this guy looks a little bit central. But another thing you also need to notice is there's a lot of Asian people in here. And this particular Asian person doesn't have a mask on, but the one behind does. And maybe they're kind of showing that this guy is irresponsible. He's not buying the things you need. We can see the huggies in the toilet paper here. Um, but he's got a roast chicken and um, what looks like ice cream drumsticks there in his case. I don't know. But um, He's got plenty of food, but he doesn't have his mask on. And we're trying to look at this guy not being um, responsible while this person is. Again, here we go. The Kirkland brand towels. We've even put a pack of bounty there for convenience. Um, and I think we also have some Coke, no, Huggies here again in the background. Mickey Mouse, another little bit of product placement. Uh, we can see here again, another Asian lady that doesn't have a mask on. We can have a black lady behind with a mask. And, um... Again, we can can't see that this lady's got some bounty in her shopping cart and she's also got some of the blue towels underneath her cart. There you go. Don't even need me to point out that one for you. And again, product placement, all Kirkland brand items. Um, it looks there. I can't see what that says. More cushion. Um, and there's some Charmin. He's also bought some Charmin there. Charmin and Bounty, I believe, are owned by the same company. Here we see some more what looks like asian ladies being addressed by a walmart employee to see if they are complying with the amount you see here to limit and again this is what is put in the foreground to pay attention to that we're going to get used to being only having two uh, packages of toilet paper perhaps um and we can see this lady she's she's loading up no mask again um coca-cola is that coca-cola no but this is another one another product placement we see the kirkland toilet paper we see um the toilet paper underneath but we also see this one is crest in scope oral b oral b in the background there this is uh them getting in and i think this is shampoo here which also may be owned by the same company that owns crest scope oral b head and shoulders you name it uh here we see another piles and piles of the Kirkland brand um, toilet paper and I believe this lady also has some water does that look like a case of water in her cart there I'm not sure um, is this more Huggies in the top the red boxes I believe so and again we've got more Kirkland brand going on the child hold is that the child holder is that in the basket behind um, is that some Huggies again in the bottom there possibly I don't know what that red box is um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is some of the, the Walmart brand great value stuff. I think they're being pushed into the foreground, but similar, similar, similar scenes. Again, here we have our big Kirkland bath tissues. We've got our water. Um, we've got more path, um, the, the, the bathroom tissues being dragged in there. Uh, product placements everywhere, folks product placement here there we go there we've got our Kirkland water there we've got our you know this is a very conveniently you know and this wasn't a picture taken by accident this was deliberately taken to make sure that you get the tissue in the foreground although it's not fully seen you're getting enough of it and it kind of you know 
demonstrates it. We've got the water in the background. We've got there. We've also got a nice Burberry bag there. Probably expensive. Maybe a bootleg from Chinatown. Who knows? Um, but again, your product placements for your Kirkland brands. And also in the background, look. We've got the tissues in abundance. Water, tissues, toilet paper, water. More water. Um, more Charmin. Um, Smart Water, I believe, in this Fiji stuff. They're part of the Coca-Cola company. Owned by Coca-Cola. Um, and you can also see in the background there, we've got our Huggies. I think that's our Huggies in the background. It might be um, Oliver Red and Becker popcorn, but it looks like they're similar. Again, here we've got some Charmin product placement for you, Asian people with masks. Um, I think we just saw that one. Here we see another lady with lots and lots of toilet paper and her masks in the, the basket. we also got some bottled water behind in the background. Oh, sorry, we've come out of that one too soon, I think. Um, what's all we got in the background here in these red boxes and red packages? Can't really tell, but also we've got um, is that toilet paper or turkeys in the basket behind. I'm not sure. Uh, Kleenex, Coca Cola, more toilet th um, paper under here, your product placements, Skies. This is for your brand names, not your Kirklands. Um, that possibly is it Target because they've got red shopping carts. Um, water, water, water. Um, water, toilet paper, there you go guys, you can see your product placements there. And I believe that is the last one. And um, not only that, you know, that was just some Walmart Target examples for you of how you have been possibly subliminally advertised to during this pandemic. Because these are pictures um, taken from social media, they're taken from um, news articles. Uh, also, uh, you know, you've been seeing this kind of thing on your mainstream news, usually accompanied by a pretty little Asian reporter outside telling you that they're seeing scenes of um, shoppers loading up their carts with toilet paper, hand sanitizer, soap and bottled water. Um, but this here, as I said, guys, this is just an example of how Walmart and Sam's Club, I think they're all part of the same Sam's Club, Sam Walden. He is um, part of the... Uh, the big um, chain, and I think Costco also sells Kirkland brand. I'm not sure if they're all part of the same organization, most likely. Um, but you can see here how the, the advertising, this was from the CBC, um, the Canadian Brain Washing Corporation. Uh, and that was the one that convenient, you know, and this trolley or this shopping cart, however you wish to, to describe it, this has been carefully crafted and placed. Usually probably artists and psychological experts have put all the items into this uh into this cart to make it as optimal and visionary as possible. And again, we've got the Oral-B background um, subliminal there. Here we are, make sure you're getting used to that and planting in your mind the limit of two packages of toilet paper per customer. Product placement, product placement, product placement, product placement. Um, now also, you know, 3M, the uh, N95 masks, they are also proud sponsors of the 2020 COVID Paland scandemic. Um, and as you can see, there are people that uh, are profiting off of the masses who are being affected, not infected, affected by this pandemic scandemic plan scandemic that's what i was trying to say excuse me there guys um millions of people have been reduced to non-essential uh, many people are out of work um stuck at home self isolated maybe isolated with their families or housemates many people are plugged into the mainstream media while they're surfing social media in the palm of their hands doubling up on the subliminal mind control and the brainwashing enforcing the narrative of this pandemic um so guys let me know if you do have any thoughts and opinions on um this if you can see the, the product placement if you can see the subliminal messaging going on in these pictures that are doing the rounds on social and mainstream media platforms um, and i'll be glad to and welcome any thoughts in uh, additional um, theories you may uh, have to offer on what you think about this uh, particular product placement issue and if at all you believe this is a is a true virus um, of a global scale that is going to wipe us out all or is it just a big smoke screen that is distracting us for something bigger while at the same time socially engineering and um 
programming our minds for what future agendas may be uh, a result of what we are seeing happen now. There is an end game to all of this, folks, and I believe that end game is towards a one world totalitarian, total surveillance um, society. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is a shit video production. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep it thrifty and remember, be excellent to one another.